I started with the basic shape of a labyrinth, and then I took um, used OpenSCAD and converted it to a whole bunch of math and equations and parameterizing everything so I could print out at different heights. And then the basic beginning was this 2D shape, which um, I then wanted to make into three dimensions, which was my ultimate goal. I wanted to see what it would look like if the labyrinth had that um, third you know, dimension of height. And if you put a ball at the beginning and it rolled into the middle, like what would the shape even look like? So that's kind of what my goal was. And this, so this is the end product here. You can see I'm going to put a ball in here. I um, probably need to increase the height a little bit, or the slope a little bit, um, to get it to roll more. I could have also printed it off at a finer resolution so that the stair steps were closer together. That would help it. But as it was, it was um, just over 24 hour print time for this, and I wanted to see what it looked like um, in real life. I mean, I could see the model, but I wanted to see it for real. And then, um, after this is was done, the next step was to see what it would look like in reverse. So if you put a ball in the middle and it rolled, it were to roll outside, what would that shape look like? And well, now that it's all parameterized, that's really easy to do. So I printed off these smaller ones. Here's what the original one we just saw looks like. And right next to it on the right is the reverse shape. Um, what the labyrinth would look like with the slope reversed. So there's my 3D printed labyrinth project.